give fans a message about season five of The Chosen, what would you tell them? Yeah. Holy Week is going to be very cool. Um, it's sad at times. It's actually heartbreaking at times because we know we're getting closer and closer to the cross. But before that happens, uh, Jesus kicks a little butt to it. So we're going to get to see some, some iconic moments from Scripture, but uh, we're also going to, I believe, be drawn closer to who Jesus was because of his suffering. We have stepped up our game in every aspect. The filmmaking, the production, the cameras we used. The, we, we even felt it on set, the way we scheduled and we worked. We were, everybody was on their A game. So I think you'll be able to see that on screen. And I think you're going to really like what you see. We put our all into this. Well, it's, it's, it's tricky for, for, for Mary, I think. Um, you both have, you, I think, I, see it. I, see I feel like she both has the, like the, 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 the she knows that her son that has to fulfill her mission. She have a big screen and surround the same time as her son. So, so it's so that, it's that thing really, really where you, cool. as a mother, you know, you have to learn how to let go of your children. But in this case, you know, it's like you know you're letting him go to something that is... To make his end. And so, you know, I still struggle to find show. exactly have, have it, how she must have gone through this. Because, because I mean, I just, with my 2024 brain, you know, being a mother myself, I would say it's so I never actually know how humongous. It's so big. Um, so when you say, uh, and I always have, go have down to like, oh, she put her face on the side. I don't know. But <laughs> well, I do know it's uh, because I mean, something. It's literally every mother. We'll be back. We'll be back. She is, but she will be going through in the next couple of months. So, so it's a challenge, but it's such a hard challenge. And, and we're so, so incredibly um, uh, lucky that we get the writing that we do, um, and 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 you know this show that is that has a unique take on a story that's been told so many times and it's so refreshing it's so human so you know i i kind of lean on that to really inspire me and take a little bit of the pressure off yeah, so season five is coming out yeah. at some point next year and we're you know working towards the crucifixion and Mary plays a very big role in the crucifixion. How are you like preparing for that? I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. I've tried to not think about that too much. Um, it's daunting and um, I, I really want to do it well and I want to honor um, that moment in the, in the Gospels. So I'm, I think I'm a little nervous um, in terms of preparation. I think I'm just gonna pray a lot about it. Yeah. Five is Holy Week. How do you go into a writing session when it's, you know, such an important event in Christian history? It, I mean, it, it truly is. And one of the ways we know it was important is because as much as 30% of the scriptures is about this week. And, you know, to answer your question, we get a huge assist from the Bible because there's no other part of it that's written as chronologically and as clearly as to the events of the weekend in time as this one. So we have all of that stuff is laid out for us. I think our challenge becomes how do we tell it in a, in a new way, especially to the initiated? How do we shed any light on this thing that we've known since the felt board in Sunday school or from, uh, you know, uh, biblical recitations that range from cinematic to plays to, to just retellings? And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to tell the story honestly, factually, historically, but also to give it that, that chosen twist of, of what were these moments like for people who would have been there. And in Holy Week especially, there's a lot going on politically and, 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 and in the town of, of uh, Jerusalem that, that I think we could, by bringing it to light, it gives those events that we know so well a new dimension.
if you could describe season five in five words, what would you say? Out of your mind, crazy. Surrender, um, intensity, um, change, um, confrontation, and tears. The beginning of the end. We're not ready, but together. <laughs> <laughs> because we were, we we know it's gonna happen, but just we gotta stick together to put you know see it through. Because there is light at the end of the tunnel. But season five was a get ready. <laughs> it's like nothing you've seen. I would say that it is truly going to feel like a different kind of series after season four's dread and doom and foreshadowing this is when the wick is lit and now we're working on a timeline it's uh it's it's just a, a really exciting season and i'm, I'm just so excited for people to see it <laughs>